Remember, three basic components to Duane syndrome. Limitation of abduction, variable limitation of adduction, and palpebral fissure, narrowing and globe retraction with attempted adduction. Here's a type one, consists of limited or absent abduction, normal adduction. Gaze to the left, fairly normal. Look at that globe retract on the left with attempted right gaze. If we were looking from the side, you'd see that palpebral fissure narrow and the globe retract as well. Here with vertical saccades, you can see that also with most Duane syndrome, there's some limitation of vertical gaze as well. I think that's a clinically useful maneuver to get to the side of the patient and watch that globe retract. When you see that, that's very characteristic of Duane syndrome and should sync the diagnosis for you. Again, you can see with that left eye, there's a variable limitation of vertical gaze as well. Here's another patient with a type 1 Duane's. You can see she's tilting her head to try and adopt a head posture where she's not diplopic. And you see she has a fairly significant abduction deficit of that left eye. And that's the characteristic of a Duane's type 1. Adduction is fairly normal.